even know what to do with myself. <laughs> you can't stump me. I'm too good at thrifting. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Happy thrift store day. I am so excited to share this bonus video with you. And we're gonna do something a little bit fun just to celebrate this special day. So I was thinking on the drive here about doing a scavenger hunt thrift list. And I put up a quick post on Instagram to pull you guys. There's certain items that you always see in a thrift store. And then there's certain things that are just like really cool or fun to find. So here's the ideas on our thrifting scavenger hunt. A patriotic t-shirt. Aloha shirt, a handmade item, something with live, laugh, love. That one should be so easy. <laughs> a designer item, a Christmas sweater, something with Disney, a cat themed item, a personalized item. Oh, so I'm getting new suggestions right now. <laughs> a unique piece of art, Vera Bradley. Uh, I'm gonna call this one the Four Horsemen. <laughs> Liz Claiborne, Ralph Lauren, Blair, and Leslie Fay. New with tags, Lula Rowe. <laughs> Somebody said granny panties. <laughs> I don't really know exactly what to look for for that. Ooh, something nostalgic and tell you why. Okay, we'll see what we find. Okay, that's gonna do it for the list. Let's just get in there and thrift and celebrate National Thrift Store Day. The stereo is a little loud in here, but I'm digging it. There's some like 70s soul and disco playing. I haven't been in this store before, so I'm excited to just like kind of take a lap around and like get my bearings. And then I think we're gonna jump onto one of the top items on the list, which was a patriotic t-shirt. I think we'll start in the men's t-shirts, basically. Right in the front of the men's section, here's the patriotic shirt. The person I was chatting with about on Instagram, we both had a really specific patriotic t-shirt in mind that we always see, home of the free because of the brave. So that is like the jackpot item, but patriotic abounds in the thrift store. <laughs> oh my gosh. I uh, do watch this show, so I get the reference, but that's an upsetting t-shirt. <laughs> There's Lady Liberty. That's a cool design on the shirt. I don't know what it is, but hopefully it's not anything horribly offensive. <laughs> this is a cool shirt too, I like that. Das Boot. <laughs> I know it's early, but I am actually shocked that I got through like 50 t-shirts and didn't find the one that I was <laughs> expecting to, so. But I have faith, like, it's in here. It lives in this thrift store. <laughs> but I'm gonna just like cruise through and dig through these really fast. Pretty funny. Do you love wearing just like funky, quirky t-shirts? Like that's definitely the type of thing you can pick up in the thrift store and style it like underneath a cool jacket just with a pair of jeans. Okay, here's another one for you. I went to da 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 and all I got was this t-shirt items. I just wanna say like, I should be sadder that, you know, there's so many things like that that always end up in thrift stores, but thrifting really makes you realize like how things like that can become disposable. And in a positive way, I just wanna say that like, thrifting makes you think about purchases like that. It's Ever Blackmore. Believe it or not, this is like a dream find for me. I told you it would be here. I'm about halfway through all the t-shirts and I found it. So. 
Okay, so I found my scavenger hunt list item. I also put a couple other t-shirts in my cart that I'll think about getting for myself, but um, it's time to move on to the next section. Since we're on the men's side, let's go look for an Aloha shirt. And I don't know, just to prove a point, I also found it in white. <laughs> Ooh, this is a cool shirt. Oh my gosh, I like the boots. The men's like short sleeve button lips are kind of light today, so. Ooh, this is cool. That looks like pretty vintage, like 90s to me. Actually made in Hawaii, so boom. Cool. Okay, you weren't expecting this. Here's an Aloha shirt for you, but how cute, it's a little boy shirt. <laughs> what is this? These look like a 70s repro print pant. Like, I know I'm off track, but like, that's how thrifting goes. <laughs> There's a personalized item. Boom. This could qualify for my unique piece of art. Look at that. I kind of meant any Disney item, like clothes or whatever, but hey, here's a little Disney VHS collection. <laughs> Ooh, Aladdin, one of my faves. I don't know if this counts, but I actually currently own these socks. I love these. <laughs> Okay, this is going great. I got a couple more suggestions on Instagram. So we're gonna add to the list a possessed doll. <laughs> That's a joke, so don't, you know, <laughs> don't take it with a grain of salt. Pimp coat, also a joke. And something with huge shoulder pads. Wait, do you see that? We gotta go take a look at that. Wow, cute. Oh my goodness. Guess what y'all, this is handmade, so I'm gonna count this as my handmade item. It is just amazing. Those are cute. Ooh, I came to grab these shoes because they're cute little pink kitten heel. They're Liz Claiborne, so boom. And those are my size, so let's put them in the cart. It's a BCBG bag. Why do I love this bag? The design is just funky and cool. Good like little statement bag. I kind of feel like this style of bag should be on the list. These are very prevalent in thrift stores too. <laughs> Okay, I think the bags are kind of scattered, so I did find a few, but uh, no Vera Bradley yet. Like, I'm shocked, because I always see Vera Bradley in this area anyway, in the DC area. Okay, I'm over in the dresses, and oh my gosh, I am so excited because I'm just like spotting a little vintage and like cool patterns, so let's look in the dresses. Look at this. This is like a Beetlejuice moment in a very cool, like, uh, 1920s, like Art Deco way. I love it. Here's Shein. This is cute. That's still like a very on-trend piece. One of the four horsemen down. What is this? Look at it. Maybe it's a costume. I should put sequin on the thrift list because uh, it's definitely a thrift store kind of thing. Oh my gosh, cute. April rain, a little vintage 80s dress. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, look at this cute vintage dress. It looks like a 90s era. La Belle made in USA, but the yeah, like the collar cut of it is like a 90s to 70s kind of thing to me. Oh. Here's a cute dress from Forever 21. Look at this cute vintage dress. I love the colors. I actually have a similar dress in different colors. And this type of thing is so cute in the fall with boots. Like it looks like a trendy modern piece or a cool piece of vintage at the same time. Boom. This is a Karl Lagerfeld dress. 
designer. It's only $7. Wow, let's look at you. Beautiful. Designer check. Look at this cute vintage brown like secretary dress. I love how it has these little gold buttons and that chocolate brown is nice. Also love this like denim jumper dress and it's plus size from Arizona jeans. Seven bucks, two X. Can't believe we didn't think of this one because real thrifters know moo's are where it's at. <laughs> Check this one out. This one is like an off the shoulder style. I love the colors in it. That's super cute actually. Oh, pockets, yay. Okay, someone just said on Instagram a chunky belt, and I'm not quite sure what they mean yet, but uh, I just spotted this one, and I love it. It's like a little tapestry pattern. And someone else said a funky print blouse, and I think I know what they mean because they know I love funky print vintage blouses, and look at this one. So I'm excited to look through the tops because I always have good look in the tops, and I gotta consult the list once more and see what we have left because we're finding so many of these scavenger hunt items. This is so much fun. Let's look through the women's tops now. Look at these cute vintage floral blouses. This little button down. Just tuck these into some trousers or jeans. This little vintage Peter Pan collar blouse. This looks handmade as well, so boom, there you go. This is a cool designer I like to see every once in a while, Oleg Cassini. And it's 100% silk, of course. What is that? Trendy looks. Cool. Just like the colors in that, how fun would that be for fall? I'm starting to think we're gonna have to speed round this thing because there are so many good tops in there and I, yeah, I don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> Okay, what's a better find than a Christmas sweater? A Christmas denim. These little pink snowmen. <laughs> Look at this cute little ribbed Tommy bodysuit. It's adorable. Four bucks. My friend Amy asked for something nostalgic. I got you. This shirt is from the Coeur d'Alene Resort in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, which is the area that I'm from. So I have a lot of memories there. The colors are like, really puzzling choices, but <laughs> it's pretty cute. It's a cute little baby tee. Okay, this is super nostalgic to me because I was in marching band in high school and I played percussion. <laughs> it was way before 2015, but there you go. There's a nostalgic item. Boom. There's Blair, this little butter yellow blouse. Fab four down. Here's another Blair piece that's super cute. Look at the little embroidery on it. So I am shocked right now that I've made it through so many of the women's tops and I have really not seen Target. Like Target brand I thought was gonna be one of the biggest offenders. It tends to fill up thrift stores, but uh, I haven't noticed any. So I thought it could be fun. Let me just pull like a few items randomly and see if any of them are Target. I think it's possible we could get this in like five pulls. Yeah, so I kind of gotta call this a fail on finding those like four horsemen brands. Um, I was looking for Target and Fashion Nova, but that was kind of off the top of my head of what I thought would be like the most common fast fashion brands in here, but instead I'm seeing like a lot of other ones. I'm also super surprised I didn't see any LuLaRoe yet, because I always see LuLaRoe and new with tags. So when somebody mentioned that one, I was like, yes, but I have not seen it yet. So we still have to find Ralph Lauren and Leslie Finn. Sarah Bradley, keep on zooming around the store. Here we go, here's Leslie. This one's a little busted, it's got like some loose threads, but the buttons are cute. Cute Leslie Faye. Here's a cute Liz Sport piece. 
It's only four bucks. I love the daisy print. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed. And it has got these cute panel pockets. Like, I might have to see if that fits me. Okay, I've got something else from the list and I think you can tell from my excitement that it is a shoulder pad item. Like the brocade, the beading, the organza sleeves, the giant shoulder pads, like, <sighs> please let this fit me. <laughs> You guys know that cute sweatshirts are always on my list. I really like this one, but it looks pretty small. I'll have to check it out. And then look at this vintage one. It's super soft. It's got a little pink and blue combo. Now I'm in the skirts and I know I'm gonna find some LuLaRoe in here. There's always a LuLaRoe skirt in a thrift store. So let's look at the skirts and see what they got. Boom. It's Target brand from Massimo. Look at the cute like uh, panel at the bottom. I definitely thought this was a LuLaRoe, but look at the fringe. The tag says, what's hot? <laughs> what is this? Oh. Oh, it's vintage. It has pockets. This is very uh, Haley from Haley Surf Tall. Here's another Ola Cassini piece. It's 100% silk. It's only five bucks. It's a gorgeous skirt. That right there. This feels like LuLaRoe. And it is. But it's not new with tags. Boom, Fashion Nova. Here's Fashion Nova, new with tags. That's pretty cute. I really like this like material, it reminds me of Barbie. I'm gonna show you all these dresses that I found by this designer. It's got a Swedish name, I believe, but I cannot pronounce, and I don't know it, so I have to look it up. But the patterns are really cool. I think it's a Swedish name anyway. It reminds me of like Copenhagen Fashion Week kind of stuff. So just to avoid any confusion, basically I found another section of dresses over here by the skirts. So sometimes thrift stores will separate things that way. And I just wanted to explain why we are back looking at dresses again. <laughs> Here's the Leslie Faye piece of the day. This is a little jumpsuit, like romper in a gingham print. It's so cute. Size 10, seven bucks. Here's Ralph Lauren. Although I'm like not very thrilled about this piece. It's, it's okay. <laughs> but he's in here. Definitely LuLaRoe. Now let's see here. There's, oh. It's new with tags. Boom. LuLaRoe new with tags. I'm just too good. You can't stump me. I'm too good at thrifting. <laughs> I'm crushing this list. Boom, I just walked by and found Vera Bradley. Only one though. There's usually quite a few, so. Boom, Vera Bradley. Vera Bradley. Okay, I never found a uh, coat, but this is a pimp hat if I've ever seen one. <laughs> okay, consulting the list. I think we're on to home decor, so let's take a look because I do have a few items on the checklist. All right, live, laugh, love, where are you? It's in here somewhere. Oh, oh. There's the laugh. <laughs> this is probably like a triptych. <laughs> uh, this one is pretty close. A framed puzzle. That's pretty thrift store classic. Here's another good uh, personalized item. These paintings of people's names <laughs> that you get on vacation. Let's get... What? Let's get what? Let's... Get Cabernet. <laughs> and there he is. This hunk. 
this is definitely like a hazard because this is so much broken glass. <laughs> but, oh, close. All right, if they don't have a live, laugh, love throw pillow, then I don't know what to think anymore. Let's count this for a cat themed item. It's a little cat plushy throw pillow. That's cute. All right, my excuse is they do not have a huge home decor selection here. So I can't believe I didn't find like multiple live, laugh, love items. Like I had to kind of stretch what they had here to make it happen. That one should be so easy. <laughs> so easy. So easy. I actually really kind of want this. <laughs> I wonder if it has been open though. Okay, I'm gonna add something that I just thought of, and I don't mean this to be negative at all, but an obsolete piece of technology. All right, obsolete technology. Here's a CD player, phones, $19 for that, wow. Tape decks and VCRs, oh my. This is just a cute little retro clock. It has an iPod dock, so also pretty obsolete. <laughs> okay, we still have to look for a possessed doll. All right, guys, I've done my best with this challenge. I've had a ton of fun. I love this thrift store. My cart is full and it's time for me to sort through everything to someone I want to actually get and then I'm gonna do a little thrift haul for you as well when we get home. There it is at the register, the most possessed item in the store. It costs $90. <laughs> Okay, so that scavenger hunt concept was so much fun. I wanna thank everyone on Instagram who was pitching in their ideas. I think I will try to do this idea again in the future because I have some leftover ideas and like some other things came to mind and then it's just kind of a fun concept. So let me know if you liked it. Uh, anyway, we're gonna see everything that I got and I'm gonna do a little bit of styling with those pieces as well. First up, this floral print polo. This is like a long time brand for women's polos, especially for like female golfers. But the print was giving me like Lily Pulitzer vibes a little bit. So I went really summery and like bright and a little bit sporty with the styling here. But I thought it might look too Easter inspired. So I put on some just funky accessories to make it look a little more styled up. And my little Lisa says Ga tote here. Makes it look like a funky styling. I think this will be a lot of fun to play with layering in the fall too. I got this vintage crushed velvet top and I just thought this would be really fun to style for a casual but like glammed up kind of going out for drinks look. So I kept it comfy with just some jeans and boots but then layered on the gold drip like to excess and I think this is kind of a fun going out look. And then I think this top too will be great to layer over turtlenecks and stuff in the fall so I'm excited about it. And it was only 75 cents. I did bring home that Lizport blazer. I just love this daisy print and I wanted to style it up in like a 90s kind of way with my choker and Doc Martens and then the rest of it just like really simple black and white. I'm not sure about the fit of this, okay? I know it's on the small side, but the sleeves are like extra short. So I think it's supposed to be like a three quarter sleeve. Anyway, I just rolled it up and went with it as like a styling option and I like how it looks. I got this black and white polka dot blouse, which is just a really kind of classic piece in my mind, but I actually don't own anything like this yet. So you can have tons of fun styling a blouse like this. Of course, it will coordinate with so many different pieces in my closet, but I went with like a casual kind of French girl style in my mind with just some classic casual accessories and then pops of red. And then I love to do this trick with my jeans. You fold and double cuff them to give you a jogger fit. But I also look forward to styling this with skirts and a lot of other pieces in my closet. And then actually a couple more basic pieces I grabbed. This very nice, chic Parisian designer t-shirt and then this simple black flowy dress from Express. 
and I actually wanted to style them together because this makes a good like casual but a little bit like funky dressed up outfit. I actually wore this the other day. It's like a fun kind of going to the winery for the day kind of look. Of course, I could belt the dress and then give it other stylings by like knotting the bottom, but it will be definitely fun to play with. And I think both items, just really good picks for the day. So happy National Thrift Store Day. And if you get out there and celebrate, go thrifting, let me know what some of your top finds were for the day. I hope you had a blast and enjoyed this like bonus video. And other than that, I will see you guys on Sunday for a new regularly scheduled video.